What's up guys? It's been a while. Uh, I've had some other projects going on, working on a bathroom, doing a bunch of tiling. And uh, I, you know, like in everything else, I have to do it twice. So I put a shower up and then all the tiles fell off, so I had to do it again. Anyway, uh, my audio in my GoPro failed for this little clip. So I'm going to just tell you what I was talking about. And that, I was just about to take the main bearing cap off. And the the... On the connecting rods, when, you, when you're pulling the pistons out and you're taking that connecting rod cap off, they're all labeled like the, the numbers of each piston is, is on each rod, and they're, they're both on the same side. Uh, so when you're putting the cap back on, you just want to line the six on the cap up with the six on the main part of the rod, and then you'll be good to go. And uh, at that, that was the main... Thing I was going over and then how the pistons start at is, is number six on the end where the the motor bolts to the engine stand and then five four three two one all the way to the open end uh, so that was all I was really going over in this video and uh, so next we're gonna pop everything off and measure the crankshaft and measure all the bearings and the journals and uh, see what happens and see what kind of uh, see what kind of shape this engine's in Okay, so exciting parts coming. I'll include you guys in this. I'm about to take the number six piston out. I'm also going to put the nuts back on the same side they came off of. I'm being like super anal retentive, but it pays off, man. Okay, let's see if we can get some. I might have to get a mallet, probably. Knock them things off of there. Oh, all right, gotta get them out. Okay, so I got my handy little hammer and I gave it some love taps, and uh, this thing came right off. And I need to make a spot to put all this stuff. And we'll get to that next, I guess. Put on some cardboard from now. Alright. And then I'm going to pull the whole piston out. I think I can go that way. If not, I'm in trouble. Alright. So let's go. Six is out. I'm going to put that back together, put the rod or the cap back on it. And for now, we'll call it good over here. I guess it's pretty obvious which it is, since how it's got a big six stamped on it, so. All right, I'll do number five real quick, and then I'll do the rest without the camera on because it's pretty boring. Hopefully I don't run into any surprises. I have a magnet handy just in case you drop these nuts down in there, because I did already. Okay, a few little love taps. Thank 
try to dump face that way, so that means that one in right there. Pop that back in. And push the piston on. Ah, shit, probably not safe. Be careful where you're setting that. So. Alright. And there we go, number five is out. So far, I think these bearings look really good. That's good, we'll see. Maybe I don't have to replace them. I'll know once I measure everything. Okay, I'm going to kill it for now, take the rest out, and then we'll measure the end play on the crankshaft. Alright, so I got my little dial gauge set up here on the end of the crankshaft, and Here's pretty much what I got going. Just taking this mallet, mallet here, pushing this crankshaft all the way back. It goes to zero. Then I'm pushing it forward. And the end plate jumps about one and a half of these marks on here. I'm gonna sit down and figure out what one of those marks is. But it jumps about one and a half, one and a half marks. Let's see if I can figure that out real quick. What is that? That is 0.01. So probably 0.015. So one, one and a half thousandths. Wait, tens, hundreds. No. I gotta figure it out. Anyway, it moved about one and a half of these. I'll get back and tell you what that is in a minute. Okay, so my end play. Turns out was right on spec. Uh, I was reading my my dial gauge wrong. I thought it was 0.01, but it was a speck of dirt on the cover, so it was actually in thousands. So my measurement was right at two thousands, and the spec is two thousands to basically seven thousands. So man, I'm right at brand new. Doesn't get any better than that. So next, I'm fixing to take the bearing caps off. And we'll get a look at the main bearings. So I'll get everything loose and actually uh, I'll go ahead and show you this. You're supposed to take it off in three steps going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to have to pull this off in, in three steps and then we'll be good. Crankshaft should come out. Need to pull the rear, rear seal off but uh, other than that, we'll be in business. So I'm going to get all those loosened up, and then I'll come back to show you pulling the cap, caps off. Okay, so I forgot to record pulling the bearing cap off, but it just came right off. I mean, there's nothing too fancy about it. It, uh, it just lifts up and off. And I can already look at my bearings and see... There's nothing major, but there's some wear. So I probably will go ahead and replace the main bearings. Why not? Well, I gotta measure everything first to make sure that it's not too worn out. Hopefully I don't have to go any bigger on the bearings. That would suck, because then I gotta get crank work and case work, and, and that would suck. So anyway, I'm about to pull this uh, crankshaft up out of here. Hopefully, let's see how heavy this big boy is. Uh, that was not too bad. All right. Uh, oh, just like to spin. Okay, so there we go. And again, I look at these bearings and. They're not super worn out, but but it has worn through that outer layer, whatever they line that stuff with. So we'll probably do some new bearings, but now I get to do some measuring. All right, so I got the crank out, and some stuff needs to get measured. A lot of stuff needs to get measured. I'm no expert at this, but I, I know enough to be dangerous. So here's what we're measuring today. 
We got my crankshaft here. We gotta measure the main bearing journals. And we gotta measure the connecting rod journals. They call them pin journals. All right, so I set this thing a certain way and I marked it and horizontal is gonna be my x-axis and y is gonna be my uh, vertical axis. And I'm gonna measure each of these going x way and y way. And there's some things we're gonna be able to get from that uh, later. But for right now, I'm just trying to figure out bearing clearances and is anything worn out at all. Just FYI, there's bearing information right it's hard to see but there's bearing information it's like that's number one number two number three I, i'm not sure about number four but that gives you the the grade of the main bearing which we'll actually need when we start measuring stuff and then on this whatever you call it part of the crank it should and it's hard to see here uh, it gives you the numbers of the connecting rod um, the bearings and what that does is in the book you have to know the grade like mine were all grade one so I know that my my journals need to be between 2.4787 and 2.4790 uh, inches so so far that's worked out I've got my X 2 point that one was a little off 2.4786 which is a little smaller than 87 but that one was 4787 that one was 4787 that one was 4787 so, so far number one and number two are right on spec and uh, that's a good thing so I'm gonna finish measuring numbers uh, three or actually I need to measure number three and then number four and then I'll come back and do all of the connecting rods and then I will put the I gotta measure the block I'll put the uh, bearings in the block one time and, and torque everything down and get a measurement on that and then I'll take the bearings out and get another uh, measurement of that just so I'll know make sure that I, I'm not, not gonna spin a bearing and then that'll give me my bearing clearance and I'm probably going to end up ordering uh, main bearings, but not connecting rod bearings. We'll see, but so far everything's like beautifully to spec, as I would expect with a 100,000 mile engine, but you never know if it was taken care of or not. So anyway, I'm going to finish measuring these journals, and uh, we'll see what happens after that. So, so you might want to see how I measure a journal. You need a set of micrometers, which I got these off of eBay, and... Uh, you put them across this direction and you turn them down till they don't move anymore lock them off no, I went too far down on that one I guess so let's try this again Okay, now, then you read it, this one is, I know it's 2 inches, 2.4, then there's, I can see 75, so then I go 75, 76, 77, 78, so this is 4.78, and then you found the line that matches up the best, 4.786, so I got a small one again, it's probably 487, but close enough getting cold it started to rain and uh, I'm going inside but I got my main journals measured I got the connecting rod journals measured uh, there's a little bit of wear on there but I'm gonna wait and see what everything turns out to be in the end as far as bearing clearances and all I'm not too worried about it yet but uh, and if, if there's too much clearance then I'll get different bearings and get the crank turned uh, we'll get it right but uh, I'm calling it a day uh, next time we'll pick up with measuring pistons uh, cylinder hole the connecting rod 
uh, journal or whole the bearings themselves and all kinds more stuff to measure to make sure this engine goes back together good so I'll catch you then